Hey, hey. Hi. Frankie, this is Lester Jenkins. Yo. <laughs> oh, and this is Mary. Yo. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Hey, you do know your basketball. <laughs> Here's a couple of tickets, courtside. Hey, thank you. Oh, Mary, I can't get over how beautiful the apartment looks with the new furniture. Thank you. Ooh, you should have seen it before it was nice. Uh -oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Mary, I hope you don't mind. I gave your number to my agent, publicist, and lawyer. Oh, no, that's all right. I gave yours to the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. <laughs> Agent, publicist, lawyer. I just love athletics. See, I'm up for a public service announcement. I might have to be reached here. Oh, you do work for charity organizations? Hey, if the price is right. <laughs> uh, uh, well, sit down, sit down. Say, that's a great game Saturday night, Rocket Man. Oh, you saw it? Are you kidding? Ten seconds left, the Blues down by one, the give and go to Jones over to Rocket Man who scores with the alley-oop. Beautiful. The alley-oop? What's that? Basketball lingo. I thought it was snuggle talk you made up just for me. No, baby, that's the one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Saw that picture of you in the newspaper this morning. Oh, yeah, I was visiting my competition in the hospital. Oh, that was nice. Well, it was the least I could do. I mean, I put him there. <laughs> oh. Frankie says hospital visits are good PR. Yeah, so you drum up some good media coverage, and then boom, you parlay it into a light beer commercial. <laughs> What about the poor guy you put in the hospital? Uh, Mary. Oh, hey, he's a good guy, but the league fined me 500 bucks. I mean, the guy was in an illegal defense all night. I get paid to win, and I don't take prisoners. <laughs> Ooh, he's my little Conan. <laughs> he sounds barbaric, all right. Uh, Mary, maybe you better get that door. Oh, hi, Mrs. Jenkins. Some of your mail got delivered to us by mistake. Uh, it looks pretty important. Let's see. Occupant. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be an emergency. <laughs> Rocky Man, what a pleasant surprise. Yo. <laughs> Calvin Dobbs, this is the Rocket Man. Well, it's a pleasant meeting you. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. When you get mad, I can read your eyebrows. <laughs> man, the Rocket Man is a guest in our home. I know that. He rubs Say, me the wrong way. I'm on my school's basketball team. Maybe we can go outside and you can show me some of your moves. Oh, sorry. I really don't want to get my clothes sweaty right now. Oh, Frankie, come on. Calvin's a good kid. Besides, if you show him your moves, I'll show you mine. <laughs> well, where'd you say your ball is, son? <laughs> Be honest, Mary Jenkins. Isn't he the most charming, interesting hunk you have ever met? No, I married him. Mm -hmm. I know if you don't like him, I hit pay dirt. Now, Mary, I know he comes on a little strong, but the Rocket Man's just a character. Take it from me. He works for charity if the price is right. Oh, Mary, come on. Frankie does a lot for the needy. I happen to know that he owns two We Are The World albums. <laughs> And did you hear him bragging about putting that fellow in the hospital? Man, it's just the game. Rocket Man is the best player in the league. Well, if you ask me, he sounds like the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Your problem is, Mary, you don't understand sports. Neither do you. Well, I don't have to. I'm cute as a button. <laughs>